What up, chosen ones? Y'all know what it is. Peep this, chosen ones. When Paul came to God and he got a revelation of God, he got a message from God. He got his purpose from God. He was given a thorn in his side to keep him humble so that he won't boast about the greatness of himself. But he'll boast and praise God and not become conceited, arrogant by the very thing that was given to him by God as a gift. So he was given a thorn in his side to help him stay humble. And he asked God to take it from him. But God told him, my grace is sufficient enough in your weakness. In, my, in your weakness, my strength will be made perfect. I'm here to tell y'all now, some of my chosen ones, y'all think y'all got to be perfect. Y'all think y'all got to do everything to the letter T. If you doing what God called you to do, you're, you're acting out on the revelations and the things God has dropped in your spirit. His grace is sufficient enough and you will be made perfectly, wonderfully made in his grace due to it. See, people will start telling you that you're not of God or you're not doing the will of God because you have some shortcomings or you curse. I get that a lot. A lot of people, oh, you curse. You can't be of God. And da 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 da. Listen. His grace is sufficient in my weakness. Listen, I cuss. I don't care. That's what I do. Now, if it wasn't meant for me to have this gift or have this platform, it would never have been given to me by the Most High because God is not making up for my shortcomings he's already made up for it it's already finished so if i wasn't fit for the job i wouldn't have the job in the first place so let's get that straight in my weakness god grace is made perfect see god gonna get his task across no one's perfect right so God going to still get his mission accomplished and he's going to give you gifts and talents according to your faith. Y'all remember the story of the three servants and the master left? He gave them gifts and talents according to. according to that individual. So God is not going to put more on you than you can bear. See, a lot of people like to think that on a negative end. But no, that also that also applies on the positive end. God is not going to give you something too good that you can't handle it. It's a such thing of having something too good that you can't handle. So God would never put more on you whether good nor bad that you can't handle. And if you really a chosen one, you really you 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 don't really go through negative things. Those are called lessons. Those are called growth tools. But I'm here to tell y'all, don't let people call y'all out of your calling because they see a weakness in you that they don't see in themselves that they don't have. See, a lot of people will try to call you out and say you're not of God because y'all don't share the same weakness. Okay, yeah, I might be cussing, 
But what you doing? But you you might not cuss. But what you doing behind doors? You feel me? Whose spouse you sleeping with? Who you gossiping on? Who you fornicating with? Who you stealing from? Lord knows what you doing behind closed doors. See, people will try to get on you because, see, and I'm realizing the most truthful and realest people are not the ones that's walking around here trying to act all peaceful and all nice and extraly, overly nice. And you know it's a fake. No, it's people that's real with themselves and real with others because you can't be real with others unless you're real with yourself. I motherfucking cuss. You goddamn right I cuss. But my message and what I do comes from the heart. And most of these people that like to come come out of their little Christian bag and be trying to condemn people to hell, well, God going to get you because you did this. Uh-uh. It's already done. His, his, his grace is sufficient. He didn't already took everything into account before I was even born. If I wasn't suited for it, I wouldn't have never had it. chosen ones y'all right where y'all need to be you ain't got to be perfect if you what don't let people talk y'all out of y'all position because they want to be where you at and they're going to try to call you out on your shortcomings on your weaknesses because chosen ones don't gotta hide their weaknesses that's what that's what them church folks do they try to go in there and act all happy and act like they they just this godly upstanding all the time person and they don't have no shortcomings but that's not real. God can't use them. How can God use you when you're not relatable to anybody? Because everybody got weaknesses. You're not relatable. God ain't going to give you a revelation and give you a skill and a talent the same as mine because we have different, we have different experiences. We are on two different paths. So how I'm doing it and what I'm doing is going to reach certain people. And what you're doing and how you're doing it is going to reach a, another group of people. But at the end of the day, God's grace is sufficient enough for all your weaknesses and all your shortcomings. So don't let people talk you out of your position. Because they think your weakness or what you're doing is contrary to God. Because God has already given you everything you need. He's taken everything into consideration when he said it is finished. That's all I'm going to say.